I'm Dr. Neil Chuan from Taiwan. I would like to discuss with you traditional knowledgeable which herbs, acupuncture, CCM, Australian traditional medicines, to East West native integrated medicine as a future global medicines. We hope to be decolonization, cross cultural diversity, and in concern of our ethic for true medicine. So most people do understand about TCF, but many still don't understand. So most non-East Asian people think that Chinese medicine is superstitious. In fact, a lot of self-proclaimed scientists in Hong Kong and many other places also don't believe in TCF. Many years ago, when I started to talk about acupuncture in Taiwan, also facing the same problem. When dealing with wildlife conservation issue, because of the comment like rhinos are going to die because of these superstitions, also hindering the development of TCM. When we talk about Chinese medicines traditionally, we think about a figure like this. And we talk about Chinese medicine, we talk about yin and yang. It's all about philosophy, superstitions. And we talk about Reynolds' horn, we think that they are dying. But actually in Chinese medicine, there are a lot of things that are so useful. And for fever, you're not necessarily using the horn of dinosaurs too. There's a, a lot of other alternatives. So what is traditional Chinese medicine? Some people will say that it's alternative, or integrative, or complementary. And it says that it's a superstitious of form of medicine. So a lot of people don't believe in it. And when talking about TCM, many people will say that because it has a long history, but to be a long history, not necessary to be a true science. I also agree with this. So we cannot no longer say that because TCM has a long history, then we must believe in TCM. We must have no exemption from other uh, signs also. So we must try to have clinical effectiveness. Then only we can say that our TCM is helpful or acupuncture is helpful. So what is acupuncture? It's a technique in which practitioners stimulate specific point on the body to which will insert T needles to the skin so that it can have some effect on you. So what the science says about effective and acupuncture, there are a lot already of study to show that many type of chronic disease like low back pain, headache, etc., a post-stroke patient also have good effect. And we know that acupuncture has effect on the brain and the body as well. So it's about qi, a life of energy that flowing through the body. So when you can do acupuncture, it's just like manipulating the qi that renew the healthy flow of qi to restore the body of balance. So it can have an effective treatment. And there's a lot of studies in Germany, Australia, and around the world that is effective to treat our disease and pain. <coughs> like fibromyalgia, pain, general health, etc. So can science study acupuncture? Sure. We can have a lot of, of methods they can do clinically to assure whether it's effective. Like in this chart, there's a study show that acupuncture is actually much better than tr no treatment at all. So to many others, it's actually a lot of meridian acupuncture only, just like Great Cross. But uh, we want to know about scientific research support or reject the use of acupuncture. This is important. When and how acupuncture works? And what kind of medical problem need acupuncture? These as Western trained doctors, we need to tell our patient. So don't use acupuncture just to neglect other health uh, care providers. So check when you go to acupuncturist, check his or her credential whether you need a license or not, and estimate the number of treatment. So we think about acupuncture, we think about traditional, but traditional is not equivalent to out of date. For example, the fashion can be traditional, 
and can be very fashion too. And can be very fancy too. If you do export use a uh, laser needle, can be very fancy. And in the features, you do the sculpt puncture, EQ, EEG, etc. Then you can have a great improvement in medical science too. Like recently, in the sport, they are also very fancy. A lot of people start to love acupuncture, artism, like cupping. Actually, in the olden time, the Islamic also have a cupping. And so we know that no matter whether it's Chinese way or foreign way, as long as it can bring help and good relief for pain, then we can consider to use in this kind of uh, treatment for our patient. To me, acupuncture is not an uh, out of it treatment, but it's a future treatment. For example, you want to fly to another planet for 30 years, how many pills or drugs you need to carry with you? But with acupuncture needle, you can you reuse and you can treat adult disease while you are applying to another planet. Like in United States, Europe, the medical standard is very high compared to the rest of the world. But we still, they still form the East-West Integrated Medicine Center like the UCLA. So you can see that in uh, Nordic, Nordic, Nordic acupuncture center also. So how the East and West meet, not uh, uh, necessarily against each other, and mainly because the Chinese, the Asian people, lost the confidence of their own uh, traditional medicines. So we need to repeal, to regain their confidence in their own tradition again. So we can help the patient, for example, after the stroke patient, this is my patient, after the neurologist consult us, we can do the scalp acupuncture and the patient can walk again. So there's a lot of patients come, whether it's adult or the children. So you can see that a lot of post-stroke patients can come in and have a good effect. This patient have a spinal cord tumor after operation, cannot move the leg at all. And then after a two or three treatment, she can walk by herself. Even this patient, with the nerve paralysis after nerve transplantation, can now raise the hand and after the scalp puncture can throw so far away. And after the stroke, cannot uh, give a good speech, can be treated after the scalp punctures. And also the facial palsy, very good effect, whether can open the eye or can close the eye. And also can stimulate growth of hair. You can see that like the blind touching the elephant. This kind of medication, a medicine, we only know part of the body of the elephant. So we only know that we think our medicine is the best, whether it's Western or Chinese, but we don't know the whole real body. So just let like us test. We know that there's Chinese way and the Western way, and also different kind of way, to how to integrate. So there are so many other African ways, the ancient way of chess too. So our body is just like the chess board. We don't care what kind of medicine you are thinking of. We are still the body, we are still the body. What we need is to have a healing from you. So it's a way of how you look at the body of our own body. So you can see that, for example, in headache, you can have a diagnosis and testing in the Western way, you can have the Chinese way of a differential diagnosis, or you can have the trigger point. Or we use only one needle to treat the treatment. So the more the way or technique you have, then you have better treatment, a better choice for the patient. In bioethic, we also usually say that you need to give your patient different choice. So if you don't know a lot of other medication, how are you going to give different choice to your patient? So just like the Kung Fu, you need to learn different kind of techniques. Then only you are best Kung Fu fighter. So when you look at the world also, you can see that East-West integration is not only Chinese and United States. There are still others like the Indian, the Thai, the Malay, etc. that you can help. For example, in acupuncture also, to start to develop and like in the tattoo, and you can integrate the medicine, the TCM, the trigger point, and the piercing, etc., into different form. And you can add the uh, modern technology.
technologies into a different uh, factory of improving the patient health too. So you can see that in a many years ago, thousand years ago, hundred years ago, there are still many different things that we still cannot understand. So when you are looking at our Aboriginal people, you can have a different look, a concept again. We are, can see that there are still a lot of things that we can learn from them. And we can help the world. Not only we go to them, but they can help the world as a whole too. This is the scarf of Kipankyus, the mapping of the brain. So I integrate all these different kinds of acupuncture into a new acupuncture system. So in this way, we can integrate the Western way, the Chinese way, the Malay way, the Indian way, the Thai way into a better, effective uh, treatment for our patient. So in this way, we can have different chi, different concepts in medicines to give our patient a better treatment. So in medical ethics, we talk about uh, autonomy, we talk about justice. So if all the Western medicine is so expensive and only no choice for other patients, then how you talk about justice? So you have no choice for the patient, uh, better price for the patient, then only we can help the patient. In this way, we can let the patient have more preference and also uh, more uh, choice for the patient that they can have their own cultures, their own traditional medicine as well. The only thing is that the Western trained nurses must learn more, more and more so that they can help the patient in a better way. So in this patient, for example, have severe low back pain, but we cannot treat because of enough, enough uh, equipment in the rural area in Indonesia. So I use the acupuncture for the patient and I can say that the patient low back pain was gone and the patient was happy. So for example, we know that chaotic stenosis is very severe for patient, may cause sudden death. But the patient heart is so severe, and also the low back pain also is very severe. So it cannot have operation on the patient unless the treatment of the heart of the patient uh, reject to have the heart operation. So I used the acupuncture to treat the patient, and the low back pain was gone, and the patient no need to take an operation. This is another patient of cancer mastitis to the spine and also very severe. And they want to do an MRI for the patient, but the patient just cannot lie down. So we have uh, acupuncture for the patient and they can lie down and do the MRI so that we can do further treatment for the patient. This patient after the stroke, we have a scalp acupuncture for the patient, and the patient can walk again, and we do the energy patch for the patient in a small scientific way, so that it can have better effect for the patient. And now I would like to talk about piercing to acupuncture in Australian culture from traditional alternative medicines. So major therapy and development of future global medicine to be a new medicine. So you can see a lot of this tattoo and piercing, and it may be related to astronomy of the Mayans or a traditional cultures that we don't understand. But if you correlate with the traditional medicine or Chinese medicine acupuncture system, you may see some correlation with it. Then they find the body piercings in the ancient culture too. So the tattoos may have different ideas and concepts from Egyptian to modern science. So maybe they have the piercing for body modification uh, to make our body more beautiful, more healthy, and later they know about the effective of doing this piercing through medicines. So when we are looking at our uh, approach the peoples or different cultures with a tattoo a body modification we may have different concepts that maybe this body piercing or tattoo may have energy flow through them that can be helpful to them. For example, the body isolated about 5,300 years ago when they found them and they find that there are some acupuncture points over there. So the Chinese may be the, not the first to develop the acupunctures and we have early here like
the Iceman over here can see the acupuncture point uh, near Meridian in the ocean way, and they start to study about how this may help in their way. So they can correlate. Maybe they have low back pain, so they maybe they need to do some acupuncture for them. So maybe the Chinese and the Western or the Asian people already know something about acupuncture and the treatment. And later on, they find the chi flow and the better treatment for better and better of treatments through this. And also the Indian, the uh, chakra come in. There are so many uh, co uh, correlated with the vital energy, the Chinese medicine, the ancient ice men, etc. And you can see how these all tattoos and piercing so correlated with our Chinese medicine and even the Japanese Yamamoto system. So, like the acupuncture of the ear, developed by the French, also lately by the Chinese also, can be very helpful. And I developed a energy pad using for the ears. You can see that they can lift more weight for the lifting. So, in this way, we try to use the new technology or scientific energy to the Chinese medicine, like we developed the nano negative arms underwear for dysmenorrhea management, and we have a good results for that. And also for the stroke patient with cerebral palsy in Parkinson, and after craniotomy, use the nano uh, negative ion head for the treatment of this patient with good results. And so we using the best medicine to serve the humanitarian service in Indonesia, in Malaysia. And we can learn from them too, not only that we go and help them, they can teach us a lot. So it's a bi-directional help each is others. Like the traditional healer, what we call the witch, for the headache and the patient better result. If you can treat in such a way, why you need Panadol? So you can see that we can have learn a lot from our Aboriginal people so that we can integrate East, West and native integration. So this is the rich goal. So in public health also and healthcare also, we can get more and more different uh, technology from the Aboriginal people. But first of all, we must have the documentation of them, uh, doing all this research on them. Then only we can learn from them. Then only we can say about cross-cultural issue and diversity belief. Then only we can learn from them as more ethical to preserve. For example, the cannot eye disease over here, when I learned in the previous time that the Indian know how to treat from the back to relieve. And then later on in Chinese medicine, found that it's the same point, but only in different ways. And then we know that the collagen is the cause of the oil in the gland become too thick the flow of the gland. And you can see the ancient Chinese text say that similar thing only in terms of meridian. So in the Indian, we talk about the chakra, and you can see me the meridian and the chakra also coming to the same point. So if you know the Indian chakra and you know the Chinese medicine, the meridian, then you can have a better treatment for the patient, especially not only the major chakra, but also minor chakra also, better effect for the patient. Not only the Indian mean TCM, but the Islamic may mean TCM. So you can see that it causes the nausea in a different way. And also we use this technique to help the patient in Africa also. For example, also in uh, Kazakhstan. So you can see that uh, when a lot of these uh, professors come to Taiwan, we help them to learn about practicing uh, Tai Chi. And you can see that the Indonesian, the it's so similar to our Tai Chi. So you can see that they are Indonesian Jambu. And then they usually take with them when they go overseas. So we start an Australian medical center in Taiwan. So you can see that with this we can help. If you have uh, any new uh, finding in the Australian like Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, etc., in the jungles, and you say that certain plants are infected. So we just will take back this and have research on this, what are the components. Then we can do animal research.
search, etc. Then we can have a better information. So you can see that we have to do the Western way to should make sure that these treatments are good for our patient. Then only we can say that this best and also make the Aboriginal treatment itself. For example, the African also they have a traditional medicine. And we can see that there's a lot of different places have different treatment. And then we talk about pollution and also uh, global warming. If we can use the African local plant and use the Chinese cold and warm uh, differential diagnosis to make the treatment for the patient and use the best technology to help them to find out whether these plants are safe or not for the patient. Then we call it East West Native Integration. Actually, the Chinese textbook of traditional medicine also say that a lot of this group actually are from Africa. So for thousand years ago, they already know to take a lot of these as far as Africa to help in China, why not nowadays we can more easily uh, transport from here to there and be neglected and refused to learn again from other cultures, so like Australian also. So we must learn from them and have a better medicine from them. Another thing is that new discovery in bacterial microbes. We usually have a lot of things and uh, disinfectant kill all bacteria. But then we know that we are more bacteria than human. So maybe 90% of our bodies are bacteria, only 10% of ourselves are only our human bodies. So why must we kill ourselves by taking all these antibodies? So maybe we have learning about pastures and uh, forget about another scientist, which uh, have different concepts. If you learn from that on, the total new medicine may be different. So we may be, be changing. So bacteria may be our uh, good friend and not our enemy. If you kill all bacteria, then we talk about bioethics, about diversity, then you cannot say that uh, we need to kill all bacteria and only left only one kind of human being body cells. We need actually to be more diversity. So different species of different reasons. So we need diversity of uh, this bacteria in our body too to have better immune system, better health of our body. So it's keeping immune system to producing engage with microbes. We call it ecosystem. So become a new medicine, more complex. So become a bigger cell, not only a human body including the different microbes, different by uh, diversity of bacteria, then not only using antibiotics to kill some all these, and then we know that uh, different body may need different uh, bacteria at different times. So the ancient Chinese statistician may actually not uh, killing all the bacteria to cure a lot of disease, but change the microbes environment and causing uh, the body to heal by themselves. So in this way, we think about the witch also. Usually we say that they are uh, wicked and uh, not good, but usually not in this way. So we think that all these witches are very bad and they manipulate the bacteria, etc. But usually we know that also that when you go to this aboriginal area and you used to uh, bully them, then they will have uh, some microbe in your uh, food and you will come back to the girls that who love you so much. In this way, we know that actually they already know how to mani manipulate bacteria and viruses that can control the brain. So now the new medicines in the brain, the neurology, can learn from them. And then we can also psychology about the gut feeling. If we can learn from them, then we can treat a lot of the psychological disease neurological disease, so in this way, even the obesity, etc. So you can see that we can drink the water from outside also. It's quite safe like in Japan. So after eating the digesting in the protein fat, we also see like the Chinese medicine that the brain, anything you eat that's similar to the body can be 
Happy bacteria go to the farm and can infect it, and you become 